Hey guys, it's Anthony here, Subaru Service. <coughs> uh, I've got Mike's truck here, it's a work truck, Asphalt Company. Yeah, popping a P0003. Uh, I told the customer that if the harness is in great shape, we might be looking at a pump, but look what we got. Thing can't focus. You see the yellow one? You can see it right there. See that chafe? So uh, I did ohm it out, and you can pull resistance through the wire. So, and it's it's rubbing right there. So, with that said, the customer is wanting a high pressure fuel pump anyways uh, wanting to go ahead and replace it for peace of mind uh, granted this is a very minute chafe area but he wants to go ahead and do the pump i'm cautioning i'm like i don't know i, th I think i don't know i mean i guess you can't go wrong with replacing it if, if you know the wallet allows it if i mean for peace of mind when it's this caliber of repair you know it's cab off it don't have to be cab off those of you i know but you know what? I ain't doing that. No, no. When we got uh, we got an undercover harness issue, it's cab off. Uh, plus, it's a good time to eliminate all the crap and put you know stuff back on. But I've got another issue here, and I don't know, man. I I I think this. I don't know. Look at this. I mean, it's just. Which it's, you know, yeah, it's a emissions equipped vehicle, but look at that. I mean, imagine what the inside of the charge air cooler looks like. You know, it's just one of them where I'm like, man, I don't. Hey, he's. He doesn't want to uh, yank the turbos and basically clean everything out and clean the intake. Yank the intake off and clean it. But that's why I'm making this video right now because I think, I don't know, man. I mean, if I got to eat it, whatever. I, I'm, I don't think I'm going to leave it. I think I, I'm, I'm yanking the intake. I'm yanking the turbos. I'm going to clean the housing and, and just, I mean, it, it actuates fine. It doesn't appear that the veins are whatever. But look at that. I mean, I just can't leave that. Oh, no freaking way. Uh, when we do get down on 6.4, I also do both tensioners, belts, thermostats, do everything. Uh, do, do the stuff that is common, common failure points. Uh, the fan clutch was extremely weak. Let me show it over here. It, it, was, it was really, I mean, it, it wouldn't lock up at all. So, not that that's, I mean, I would put that on, fan clutch. Uh, yeah. It just kind of sucks that I saw that, and it's, I mean, it's, I don't know if you, I mean, I, I know a lot of you that have deleted your trucks. I mean, that's normal, but that ain't normal for what leaves my shop. I want to take that sucker apart. I got an ultrasonic cleaner. I got a spray cabinet. I got everything I need to make that thing clean, but uh, the problem that would come out of that is the intake looks like that but also the intake ports on the heads look like that. So can you imagine what the backs of the intake valves look like? I mean, so it's like, I mean, I know I can just scrape it, chop back it out, clean that out, clean that out, clean what we can and just let it ride. But I mean, I don't know. I wanted to make a video of it. I mean, worst case, I'll scrape it. I don't know if you can actually see how thick it is. It's it's on there. So, I don't know. I just wanted to make a video and show how nasty this was. Before I uh, button it up and put a freaking high pressure pump on it. Which, I don't know. I mean, it's going to suck. Put the high pressure pump, put a new high pressure pump on it. And, uh... I don't know. I mean, it's just, it's just fucking, it's just nasty. It's disgusting.
maybe I'll pull the crossover tube off and clean that out but it's not gonna be bad it's I don't know oh well it's just disgusting it's just freaking horrible which all that I mean if you think about it you know the uh, a lot of that resorts from uh, freaking blow by because let's think about it okay basic six fours got I guess you could kind of call it a catch can setup whatever but uh, it goes into the intake goes in the turbo through to the other turbo and by here it actually has not been introduced to any EGR air so you know I mean it's normal I mean being real dirty I just don't like that here I don't know I don't like it being that freaking dirty here so damn damn all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off and uh, clean this out and I'm gonna make a decision on which way we're gonna go if we're gonna go ahead and yank it down take it apart clean out what we can and I don't know I'm gonna chew on it think about it all right guys have a good day